I came back to the Olympia and that's the first time I got second to Ronnie Coleman. And that's the first time ever in my career I realized I could actually win the Mr. Olympia competition. All right, guys, Dave Mad Max 6, we are back at the Mecca in Vegas, the Dragon's Lair. I have the great pleasure to have brand new blood here from China, Lu Chen Hui, with his coach, Neil Hill. Neil, uh, I'm going to start with you, my friend, because you have to get out of here. Uh, we just finished a, a grueling workout. Uh, thanks for coming back on GTV. Hi, guys, it's obviously always be, uh, great to be supporting the channel. You know, what uh, Dave and Jay bring to the in industry is something very new and unique. They're always bringing something very different and being a part of the channel and obviously new experiences, it's great for me to have the opportunity and I'm very grateful. Thank you, as always. All right, we're going to we're gonna test uh, Luchen a little bit. Welcome to JTV, Luchen. Yeah, very uh, happy uh, uh, go JTV. Hey, you see? I'm yeah. testing him. Good English. We're gonna <laughs> just so just to make sure we're not worried, you guys. We have a translator who's gonna come and replace Neil in, in a second. And we're gonna ask him all kinds of questions. But Neil, I want you to tell me a little bit uh, uh, about your relationship with uh, Luchen. Uh, how long has he been a new athlete, and when did you guys connect? So we met for the first time at this year's Mr. Olympia, which is obviously very recently. It was only like eight weeks ago or so. Oh, 2021. Yeah, recently. Okay. Yeah, we sat down, he spoke, and Lou explained to me what he was ideally looking to achieve, obviously, in the industry. He's very committed to making the transition to be able to come over here as long as possible and wanted to come to Vegas, and that showed me that his, uh, his real passion for the industry and, and uh, pursuing his fitness goals were very, very real, okay? We can all dream big and wish big, but actually applying ourselves is, is totally different. Um, I had to go on extended stay because I had to go to India. Sorry, I had to go to actually uh, Italy with Yamamoto. You're all over. You're, you've been yeah. traveling a lot. I had a lot of travel. So I had five weeks away. And when I came back, Lou had already been here for a good number of weeks. He'd been training with uh, Mark, Mark Anthony. Mark yeah. Anthony and Mark had obviously taken him under his wings whilst I was away. And since I've got back here and really spent some quality time with Lou and got to know him as a person as well as a bodybuilder, I am extremely as impressed with his work ethic and really the evolution of his physique. His physique is really starting to mature and his strength levels are going up dramatically week to week. Um, there's a lot of new changes taking place with his physique, but not just his physique, it's just his overall association with the industry and the IFBB Pro League is very serious about making a big impression here in the USA. But also he's obviously got a, the, you know, the nation on his shoulders of China and it's great for us as a, a bodybuilding community, the IFBB Pro League, NPC Worldwide, to have all these amazing, amazing athletes under you know, the umbrella of the IFBB Pro League and the NPC Worldwide. And having those athletes in our country, in America, can only allow the industry to grow internationally even more. Well, I was just going to ask you this as a, as a follow-up question. You're reading my mind. I was going to ask you, what do you think of all those international uh, body, uh, elite bodybuilders? We have people from Korea. We had you know, so many people are coming from all around the world mm -hmm. to come here and sort of create those little... Um, uh, you know, training camps for a few weeks or a few months, and of course, you know, work with you and Milos and all the champions we have in in Vegas. The elite is really migrating to Las Vegas. How, how do you feel about that? No, I think it's great. I mean, it's obviously amazing for Flex. I mean, Flex has put a lot of investment and time and effort and passion into the Dragon's Lair. It has definitely established itself as the mecca of Vegas. There's no doubts. I mean, there's a lot of really great facilities here. And the great thing about having options is that you can choose where you want to train and where you want to be. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, the Dragon's Lair has definitely set the essence of excellence, I would say. And it's a new not, mecca, baby. Yeah, it is. You know, <laughs> it, it just really is. And when you walk in here, there's always an elite athlete from different countries, That's different so awesome. nationalities. And, you know, you know, when I speak on behalf of the MPC and IFBB Pro League, it makes me very proud of being a part of such an amazing community of excellence within the industry and having these international amateurs and professionals like Lou here training in America, uh, representing themselves and the whole of their nations and obviously the IFBB Pro League or the MPC worldwide. It shows great strength and leadership 
you know, when we all combine ourselves and we believe in the bigger goal, which is obviously to pursue health and fitness in general. Yeah, I really like it. And I also like the fact that uh, it seems to me that every single person we get from other countries is very well received by, by the staff over here, by uh, the, the other uh, people training in the gym. You know, we love it. We actually love having people from other countries uh, representing other nations. I think it's awesome. It says a lot about bodybuilding in general. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, just go back a few minutes when you spoke about Milos. Milos, one of the best coaches in the industry, okay? Wealth and knowledge passion, was a phenomenal bodybuilder. I loved his physique and what he brought to the stage. It was beautiful, it was graceful. It was bodybuilding, yes? And having the likes of, you know, Millis and, and, and so many other amazing coaches coming awesome. here on a, a weekly basis, I think it just shows the whole of the fitness community worldwide that this is the place to yeah. be. I love it when you guys are all in the gym and all the pros are training with all the top trainers. To me, it's just like you can feel that energy. It's awesome. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, and guys, you know, seriously, JTV, they've done a huge amount for the industry. It's not just about Jay, what he's accomplished as an athlete on stage. Let's go back to when Jay, you know, won his first Mr. Olympia, okay? Jay probably was the breakout bodybuilder which knew how to combine bodybuilding and business, mm. make it a powerful identity where others could obviously learn from Jay, be motivated by his physique and his achievements. And he's really applied himself just as much in the industry since stepping away and retiring as he did when he was a professional athlete. And I'm a massive, massive fan, or I have a huge amount of respect for what he has done and what he's doing. Also you, Dave, at the end of the day, you guys will travel, you know, you make yourselves available for these amazing athletes, and I think that's great credit to yourselves. It, no, these things just don't happen unless somebody's passionate about what they do, okay? You gotta love it. Yeah, you, you have, have to love it. it, and that's something that makes me, you know, very proud standing from the sidelines, seeing what you guys are doing in the industry. It's not just about the athletes, it's everything, that's you right. know? Everything. That's right. Yeah, yeah everything. it's a win-win for everyone. Well, Neil, I really appreciate you coming on the channel, as usual. Um, and and uh, we love to have you here. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're living here. You're having your house built here now. So you're not going anywhere, even though no. you do have some travel to do. He's on his way to uh, the Nationals tomorrow. But we will get you back next week. And I really appreciate you being on the show. You're welcome, mate. And good luck with everything, guys. Chase your fitness dreams, no matter what they are, okay? All right. Take care. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. Thanks. Scott, come on in. All right. Here's my translator. All right. Yeah. So Scott, thank you so much, all the way from Irvine, California, to just to translate for JTV. Uh, welcome to uh, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, thank you. I love uh, actually. I always watch like JTV. Do you watch it? I watch it, <laughs> and I love Jay a lot. And who doesn't love Jay? Yeah, right? I respect him, and also like uh, I just told you earlier, like I want to do uh, to meet him. Yes. Because I like his personality. I like his physique. I like like. Uh, He's everything. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. You're great. You're a very good bodybuilder yourself. Yesterday you were training with Milos, shoulders, legs yeah. tomorrow, you're telling me? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm really scared to train with Milos. Uh, and also, like, I'm happy to be here. And uh, I love this gym. All right. So I'm going to ask you a few questions for uh, uh, Lou, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. And then that way you can just, uh, you know, you speak better Chinese than I am, than <laughs> I do. So uh, we'll get to know him a little bit. So first, let's, let, uh, uh, let me ask him, uh, how old is he? And uh, how long has he been training in bodybuilding uh, competitively? Alright,呃,他问你,你自己,你现在多大,然后你练了多久?呃,我今年已经,马上就要三十五岁了,然后我训练了,已经将近二十年时间了,二十,对,okay, so he's almost like, uh, 35 years, okay, and uh, he has been training for like, almost 20 years, 20 years, okay, yes. And why did he decide to get into bodybuilding? What made him decide this is what I want to do? Is it because he watched a movie, he saw a magazine? How did he get involved or interested in bodybuilding? Uh, uh Okay, I heard Arnold and movie in there. Okay, so you understand a lot, <laughs> right? <laughs> so he started uh, to, like, uh, back then, like, he, he loved watching the movie uh, Arnold. Of course, everyone loves Arnold, <laughs> right? And after I watched uh, Arnold movie, 
he had a dumbbell in his house, so he started to lifting a little bit in, in his house. And after a little bit, he went to the gym, started to real like to uh, like a uh, bodybuilding, like to training. And uh, uh, since then, uh, he started to to buy some like magazine to learn some like uh, like technique. And uh, uh, at that time, uh, that was like uh, Jay Collar and uh, Ronnie Coleman start compete, and uh, he started love bodybuilding. Okay. Is uh, ask him is is bodybuilding big in China? Uh, are you from China? Yeah. By the way, okay. Yeah. So is it big over there? How is the sport seen by by the country? Is there a lot of people doing bodybuilding, or is it kind of like uh, underground? And is there a lot of gym? Tell me a little bit about the culture in China. Uh, let me ask him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he asked you. Now, in China, the sport of bodybuilding is doing well. Is it growing or is it still in its infancy? 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 就是现在在中国的话，就是健身房发展是非常好的，因为我们现在自己都有自己的健身房，然后大众健身的普及度也非常高。但是对于专业领域来讲，现在我觉得相对于美国还是有一些差距的，因为毕竟现在我们想要跟这里很多职业运动员去去沟通或交流的话，有一些障碍。但是我觉得以后肯定会发展很快。但是现在年轻人的基础非常好，所以我觉得未来的发展中国是会慢慢上来的。嗯。呃、uh, ，right now。Right now, like China, we have very good gyms. Like uh, people start to know uh, to notice, like uh, healthy and fitness is very important for them. But for professional bodybuilder, we don't have like this kind of like uh, you know uh, you know like a, the like a coach or everything like a, a science based like science based stuff. So that's why we come here. So hopefully, uh, since we start to more people involved the fitness uh, Chinese fitness industry. Uh, hopefully, like people uh, who like like me, so we study in US. We'll go back to China, and we're gonna bring something new. Okay, I see. Um, is there? Ask him what uh, competition he actually uh, want to earn pro, pro status. Uh, you are how did you get this job? I was in the Japan Pro-Level Bodybuilding Competition in 2019. I got a pro status in Japan. 应该啊，不是二零一八年，二零一九年是第二年参加了职业赛，就是在二零一八年的时候，十一月份获得了职业卡。In uh 2018, uh in Tokyo Pro. Okay. Yeah, he turned he turned pro, and also he competed his first pro show in Tokyo again the next year. And how did he do? Does he know? Uh, yeah, do I believe. Know? Uh, 你是东京赛第几名？第八，第八。Yeah. Eight place. Wow. Yeah, first one. The first one. That's good. Yeah, they have very good competitors. Yeah. Yeah. 有很多职业运动员，比比如说 Mac Mac Miller， 也 Regan Regan， 也 maybe Juan Juan， 还有也 Re Regan， maybe Korea Lee。Oh yes. Yeah, Korea Lee. He's good too. Yeah. 呃，还有谁？反正就是很多都比我赛的运动员，所以能拿到第八名很开心。嗯。You understand, right? So some, some, but you can tell me. So on that show, that was a big show, right? You know, like Tokyo Pro Show is a very big show. So there's a lot of like uh, competitor, even they are like from like Olympia, they went to uh, they went to that show to compete. Mm -hmm. Like Rickham Grams, yep. uh, Cedric McMillan, yes. uh, and uh, the guy from there. Yes, uh, Chul. Yeah. Yes. And uh, yeah, they have a lot. So wow. that, so he plays eight and he feel like, uh, I think he, this is a very good place. Yes. Yeah. I also went to that show as well. You did? Yeah. <laughs> to watch? No, I competed. Compete? Well. Yeah, How did you do? I didn't play so well. That's actually my worst show. Really? Yeah, in Tokyo. Really? Yeah. Okay. Is this, is this more of a thing now for people uh, you know, from Korea, from China, to come in the United States? We're seeing that more and more, to kind of come for those training camps for a few months and learn as much as possible and then go back home. And Is that what's going on right now a little bit, you, you would feel? Yeah, uh, they said now, is it feeling like 越来越多像类似于像韩国，我们国内选手想去来呃美国去，类似于是学习一段时间，然后去提高自己。是，对，因为现在确实我们的认知有有在提高，所以也希望跟更多的高水平的教练和运动员去交流。但是真正能够提高的地方就在美国，毕竟 F O B B 就在这里，所以我们都希望来这里训练，这是我们的目标。嗯。Yeah, things like uh. Like things like we all love like fitness, 
but we don't have like as I told you before, like we don't have very good like uh, like coach. The knowledge. The knowledge. Yes. That's why we come here, and also yes. like FBB league is in here. So yes. uh, like the, the newest and the the best. Yes. Uh, about like uh, like training is yes. here. That's why we come here. Yes. How does he like Vegas since he's been here? Ask him. He's been here for for a few weeks now. Ask him how it's been for him to get acclimated to you know, the weather. I'm sure it's different. Uh, you know the people, the staff. Ask him what his impression is of the United States and Las Vegas uh, as of right now. Uh, 他问你现在你在拉图维亚斯里待了一段时间了 然后我就决定了先去看一下奥林匹亚大赛因为毕竟我的梦想就是参加奥林匹亚大赛所以我先去看了一下都在追逐着自己的梦想往前进所以就是给我一种感觉非常开心也是非常希望能够以后一直就是在这里能够好好训练但是马上我的这个时间前段时间就要到了我可能要回去一段时间到时候再过来所以也非常期待下次再过来继
大家是怎么觉得，就是你来到美国去追逐你自己的一个梦想，就是你的家人和你一些粉丝，就是他们怎么认为你过来？就其实吧，因为健美这个运动，不管我觉得在任何国家，其实作为家人来讲，他们都。比较不是那么的建议自己的孩子去练这个东西，因为觉得太辛苦，然后这么高强度的训练，然后这么苛刻的饮食，然后每天这么艰苦的去坚持，所以他们也是希望我，因为我觉得可以，因为已经练到这个程度了，就没有必要再去往前冲了，好好的在家里，然后继续做你的工作，然后做好自己的健身房就可以了。但是。我自己呢，对于我们毕竟都是运动员，作为运动员来讲，就是有一个你的心理，就是认为你必须要不断的向前冲，达到更高的水平，然后参加奥赛，这才是我们最终的梦想。因为奥林匹亚就在这里，所以我们不管家人怎么说，还是义无反顾来到这里。所以这是，就是我们想要的东西。I think it's, it's,、uh, it's same thing, it's same thing in U.S. Like people don't really understand bodybuilding, right? Like you, you can't make like so much money. From it, so and you also like、uh, push so hard in here, high intensity training, and and、uh, like also like、uh, diet, right? So his family, like all, like they don't really like support him to doing no. this. No, no, they don't really support him. But uh, uh, Olympia being like being a competitor in Olympia is his dream. So he want to him improve himself. That's why he come here, and uh. uh Yeah, it's no matter like what people talk and、uh, also family. He loves being here. Pursuing his dream. Yeah, pursuing. I love that. I love even it's it's sometimes it's hard if you if you don't have the support of your friends or your family, and it kind of goes against what they want to try to do. It's it's harder to do it because you have to do it just because of you, because of yourself. So I tell him that、uh, it's it's great、uh, that no matter what he's doing, what he wants to do, whatever makes him happy, and I think it's a always a good thing to follow his dream. Tell him that. 他觉得你做的就是非常的，这是个很难的决定，因为你要去对抗很多，呃，你周围的人，然后他没有那么支持你，你需要完全是需要为了自己去追逐梦想，然后他非常尊重你这个，然后这个是非常难的，然后以及他他想让我告诉你，就是他非常喜欢以及呃尊重你做做的这些的决定。Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Uh, because I, uh, my idol is Jay. Uh, so today, very happy. Let's、yeah. go, Joe TV. That's awesome. Yeah, well, we're glad、TV. to we're glad to have you. First, first interview, but I'm sure more to come. More、yeah. to come. He's only 35 years old. He's just in his prime right now. Those are the great years in bodybuilding because you're old enough to have maturity. You're just getting good at that time. You know, ask him、um, what is the ultimate goal for him and how much longer we like to do. If he could predict, you know,、uh, bodybuilding. Uh, how many years? How many more years? Okay. Yeah. 呃，他说你现在三十五岁，是个张大之年。然后他问你，就是你自己一个最终的梦想是什么？以及就在比如说在奥赛舞台上，然后还有你想再多练多少年？就是或者说在这个项运动里面再花多长时间？因为我们呃喜欢健美运动，所以我们不管到任何年纪，我觉得都会一直练下去。但是职业的生涯可能在巅峰的时期就那么些年，所以我要抓住现在比较年轻的状态，然后冲击要塞。那么未来能够拿到什么成绩或者什么样的呃名次，我现在都没有去考虑。我现在就是享受我现在当下的时光，去享受这个训练，享受每天就是付出一些努力所带来的这种结果。所以现在我是非常开心的。所以未来该怎么样，那就一步一步的去看吧。那你还要练多少年？你自己有没有考虑 ？OK， so。Uh, for him, he didn't think like、uh, very like like very far away from him. So he start he thinks he likes to、uh, enjoy the moment right now. He loves the training. He loves like uh, uh, like everything from here. So、uh, he likes to enjoy the improvement he made like、uh, each year. So of course he wants to go to Olympia, but、uh, he didn't think that much in the. Like about wow! So he lives in the present. Yeah. He, wow. Yeah, he lives in the present. Yeah. yeah. And、uh, I want to ask、uh, how many years, and he said, like,、uh, like as long as he can. As long as he can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're still young, so that's good.、Uh, you're still young.、Um, what kind of work do you do、uh, back home? What kind of work does he do? He, you see, the 工作是什么？我自己是有自己的服装品牌，然后自己的就是营养品。呃，也不能说营养品，就是食品，然后还有我的健身房，还有健身学院。
所以都跟健身相关，这是我的事业。You know, well, he's actually color in China. You know, he has everything. He, yeah. Really? Yeah, very smart and also、uh, ambition about everything. It's not what he talk. It's, it's okay. It's my、nice. uh, perspective. Okay.、Uh, he has、uh, the clothing company here. Okay. It's very big. And、you、also. Can you say what it is? Can you tell what it is? Yeah, Body Dream. Body Dream. Body、okay. Dream is、okay. his、uh, clothing company. And、nice. also he has a、uh, food. Like, okay. Like peanut butter, like uh, uh, chicken. Okay. Like, and also like、uh, it's like healthy snacks. Okay. Uh, and also, he has uh, uh, like training camp、okay. and a gym. Wow! He, so he has、uh, so、like、he's got all, all kinds of business. All his hands in all kinds of businesses. Yeah. Wow! So he makes money while he's here, right? <laughs> 对，他说 <laughs> he gets that. Yeah, he gets that. <laughs> you make money while you're here. Yeah. 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 Hey, why not, right?、Yeah. Well, Luchan and Scott, thank you so much for coming on JTV today. I don't, I don't want to keep him too long because I know it's, it's, it's、uh, you know, it's tough when we have to have someone to translate. But I really appreciate you coming all the way from Irvine, California, for doing this. You're a great bodybuilder yourself. So why don't you give your Instagram so people can actually follow you on Instagram?、Uh, my Instagram is Scott Joey. Scott Joey. It's S C O T T Z H E Y U. Okay, I'll put it in there you know, just to make sure people can see you. We really appreciate you coming and tell、uh, Lu Chen、uh, congratulations on on all this improvement that he's doing right now. I've seen him work out here、uh, for a few weeks. He's made huge progress. I'm sure he's just getting started, and we're glad to have him here. And I know he's going to have to go back soon, but anytime he wants to come back, it's always good、uh, for us to have people like him in the gym in Vegas. Uh, he said he was very happy, and he was able to see that you made a huge improvement here. And he saw that you worked hard here for a few weeks, and he felt that you made a huge improvement here. And he said he was very happy, and he was able to see that you made a huge improvement here. Thank you, Dave. Yes,、yeah. it was a pleasure to have you today.、Yeah. Guys, Dave Mike Max Six for JTV. With Lu Chen and Scott from China, and we're out.